How are we doing everyone? Matt here. That scene with the car in there, that's actually where I'm putting this video, in between there. Welcome to a new episode of Just in 7 Weeks in Africa. The first 8 days we did with Rob at Benula Sporting State, we were at Stanley Petersay Safaris there, and you just saw some of the highlights from Kev and Paul, who were Rob's clients, two great guys, fantastic company, who I've not laughed that much in a long time. So here's some more highlights. And now we're gonna get into the main story, which is Rob's croc hunt. So we managed to get the 13 foot croc. This is my first ever croc hunt, and it doesn't go to plan. Well, it looks like it does. And then it doesn't. Enjoy. The great thing about croc hunting is that you don't need to get up super early because they don't come out until the day warms up. We are heading to an absolute gem of a croc hunting location, which has to be one of the best spots in South Africa to hunt crocodiles. And if you were paying attention, you would have just seen a bunch of them. This is actually the river system that we're gonna be hunting in. Stanley, you probably remember Stanley from uh, the buffalo hunt and the kudu and everything else we've done. Rob, obviously we've done plenty of videos now together, yep. but this one's going to be pretty exciting. So what sort of size crocodile after today? Rob? Uh, probably around 12, 13 feet, hopefully bigger. We'll yeah. see what we can get. Yeah. 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 So there's a lot of crocs in the area, as you've seen now on the drive-in. Yes. So bigger. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, let's see what the what the era delivers. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. What can and and so how like how do you hunt a croc? Like, what's the game plan? I think now we're just gonna get downwind, get our wind right and stuff, and then just start sneaking up on them. Yes. Um, spot and stalk, and then yeah, if we get close enough, we'll probably set up on the on the um, tripod and yeah. yeah, get a good shot. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. It's like it's obviously pretty dangerous, right? Uh, what are some of the things we look out for? Well, obviously in this area, hippo, buffalo on the on the water's edge, yes. and then yeah, the shot placement is crucial. Yeah, you need to you need to drop them because if they go into the water with all this amounts of rocks around, you're gonna you're gonna have trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't wanna don't wanna go into the water. Yeah, not, yeah. So if it goes into the water, uh, I saw with the hippo you know, last year that they use grappling hooks and stuff. Okay. Is that how we do it as well? If, or? I mean, if it dies in a, in a certain spot, but the river area is so long, so you, it's going to be tricky to yeah. know where it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So hopefully, hopefully Rob makes a good shot. Yeah. I've seen him shooting before, so <laughs> I think it will be good. Hopefully and, it goes yeah, well. But, yeah. Stanley's going to love this question. Rob, tell us about your feelings. How are you feeling <laughs> with this hunt, Rob? I had a feeling that. Uh, I had a feeling that feelings question was coming. <laughs> Rob uh, Bates talking about his feelings, so you know. Yeah, no, I am excited. Yeah, this is my second hunt on Crocs uh, with Stanley. 
Uh, obviously, it's a beautiful place, big, big water areas. So, yeah, I am excited. It'll be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a beautiful day, nice and hot, which you guys are saying, telling is, me yeah. means the crocs come out. Uh, really good to get that sun, the sun rays, you know. Yeah, so. that, that helps a lot as well. Yeah, yeah. Get them baking in the sun. So, uh, yeah. sweet. I think we're in for a treat. Yeah, let's see what, uh, what the bush gives us today. Eh? <laughs> Any place in the tail, in the back, break is fine. Behind the shoulder. Okay, I think he's down there. Just wait, Pete. Pete, just wait, mate. Yeah, yeah. Just wait, mate. Stuck on that branch. Yeah. You see his feet is not moving. He looked dead, eh? He did look dead. Come this side. Do you know I was so oh, close okay. to sticking no. another angle in his neck? Shoot him again, shoot him again. In, in the body. Shoot him. Oh yeah, yeah. Shoot him, Pete. Go that side, come quickly with me, Rob. Go, go, with, go with him, just run with him. Yeah, it's fine. Stay 
Okay, we'll pop up now, there, into the spine, right? He's moving to the left, I think. Look at that brown. We must just make sure we... Let's just make sure it's the right one, eh? There's water. Yeah. That's yeah, just into the bubbles. Just yeah, you know, just give him time to if you have more rounds. Yeah, blood. Yeah. Thank mate for boosting me. You have more rounds. I fucking jammed. Give me the gun and you have more rounds in your pocket. Wait, pass up it, pass up it. Just go there to pit. Just go that side more. But I think... I think he's gonna be dead now. What the hell? That's another, that's another one. He's still right here. You get ready, Hark? Ready to go. So basically what's happened now is what we didn't want to happen. Uh, took two shots, it looked completely dead. This is what these guys are good at. Um, <coughs> then at the last minute it started to back up into the water, fired a couple more shots, and then we had to run around the bank side. I think I got a further fourth shot into it, and it's rolled over in the water, and now obviously sunk, so we've got to try and mark the spot where the croc is. And we're gonna go for either a boat or hooks uh, to try and retrieve it. But ideally this isn't what we wanted to happen. But that's croc hunting, I guess. So while we waited for the boat and the grappling hook to turn up, we reviewed the footage to see exactly what we were dealing with. The second shot straight in the engine room. Can you show the first shot again, mate? And in times like this, everyone needs a little humor. He's doing the short straw. Yeah. Oh, you fuck, mate, you're going in. <laughs> Get your shoes and socks off. Oh, I mean, I shot it, so I should be the one that goes in. <laughs> but all joking aside, this river is absolutely jam-packed with crocodiles. And it's important to remember the seriousness of the situation. But it isn't long before the grappling hook turns up and the boat is actually on the way. We sit in the centre. Your South African Grappling Olympics. However, we quickly work out that we need to be around the other side of the river, and thanks to the magic of film, we're there. But it doesn't matter how many times we throw, the only thing we manage to hook onto are live, very angry crocodiles. <laughs> As you just saw, we of course have people watching with firearms. The safety is paramount and the laughter is that of nervousness. Thankfully, Nico turns up with the boat shortly afterwards and it only takes them a couple of minutes to find the croc. 
Success, my friend. They hook it. Look. That well, looks big. How's that feel, bud? I'm relieved, if I'm honest. 100%. Uh, yeah, obviously this is not what I wanted to happen. Uh, but I think you can agree. Two PHs and everyone was saying it was a done deal. Yeah. It looked like a done deal, but it just goes to show you that it's not dead until it's dead. Yeah, exactly. And this uh, is I mean, tough. it was done. Yeah. The prop was done, but it just had enough in it to flick back in the water. Exactly. And, you know, <coughs> I've only just whipped, pulled this out now, so it's fantastic. Yeah, no, I'm super pleased. <coughs> it's Petey with the pistol, ready to go. Pistol Pete, they call him. Used to be a uh, sprint starter in his earlier life. The scale of these crocodiles is hard to fathom and even when you're right next to it, it takes a little while to sink in. Well, that was a bit of a uh, tense afternoon. Um, I think most of us thought it was dead, but it was just trying to locate it. As you guys saw and Rob talked about, you know, like, shit happens sometimes when you're hunting and uh, you know like it, it had completely stopped moving and we thought it was dead and then some nerves started kicking back in basically and, and it was just enough to get it back in the water so then we had to scramble to get a boat and a grappling hook and stuff like that but you know what was that two minutes in the boat oh, and yeah, then it was pretty quick in yeah the boat, they yeah. found it pretty quick actually oh. Pete did so credit to Pete yeah and uh, job's a good one yeah, yeah happy it's been uh, it's been recovered uh, I knew it was dead, it just obviously flicked back into the water and floated down, so... Uh, but yeah, quite keen to wrap this up, because there's a crop literally just there, <laughs> just moved in on us. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, well, congratulations, eh? Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, great ass, oh. yeah, definitely. Cheers. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, thank you, sorry. Yeah, I, I, I just want to say too, because like, if you've never done a crop hunt before, it was actually way more exciting than I thought it would be, like... Oh, it was a good day. Once it, once it kicks off, it's just crazy, like there's crocs jumping in the water everywhere and you know like you just always have to be like Rob's doing now looking be behind you <laughs> because like you see some of the footage even when we're trying to grappling hook it out they were eating the uh eating the line you know so just for your viewers you can't see there's a crop bobbing around here probably 10 12 foot away so yeah let's do it then let's yeah. uh, let's move away from the bank <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> We've got plenty more videos to come out. The next video that's coming out is what is braai? So I look into that as a tasty, tasty South African food. It's kind of barbecue, but with a twist. And we go into the ingredients, the preparation, and the cooking. Thanks for watching this video. It was an awesome hunt. Rob and Stanley and all the other guys. Pete as well, thank you so much for the good times. See you next episode.